Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So I'm sure many of you guys watched the IFL TV and Eddie Hearn interview that was uploaded late last night. And amongst the many points that were raised in this one and a lot of clarifications on certain things, the bit that I was really interested in was the update of Dylan White and the WBC situation, which ultimately uh, we got, which happened towards the very end of the video. Of course, me watching it, I didn't know which point it was, so I had to watch the whole thing. Amongst all like 10 different double-sided adverts. Come on, Coogan, sort it out, sir. 10? Come on now. Anyway, um, eventually we got to the point that um, I really wanted, which was Eddie Hearn talking about WBC and Dillian White. Now, what we do know before this one was that the WBC have offered Dillian White the mandatory position, as in the interim world title, for fighting Oscar Rivas. But the problem was, we didn't know when the mandatory was going to be called. Now, as per the WBC rules, a mandatory should be fulfilled at least every 12 months. But Deontay Wilder, he's been champion for four and a half years, well, over, over four and a half years now, and he's only had two mandatories, which would tell you in itself is not quite right. You don't have to be a mathematical genius to work out that four and a half years should be at least four mandatories, but him only, only doing two. So the point was, it's one thing for Dillian to be made the mandatory, which is great for the WBC. It's a step in the right direction. But when is that fight going to happen? How long is he going to have to wait after defeating Oscar Rivas? Of course, touch wood, he does defeat Oscar Rivas, which is the most important thing, regardless of anything else, all the talks, all whatever. That's the most important thing. He's got to do his business on July 20th against Oscar Rivas. Now, in this interview, Eddie Hearn has said that stay tuned, that Dillian White versus Oscar Rivas on July 20th at the O2 Arena has now become a very, very critically important fight. So, what could that possibly mean? Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, he says he doesn't want to say too much. Well, I think he said enough, which is not only will Dillian, should he beat Oscar Rivas, which um, I, I do believe that he will, but he will become mandatory and he will fight for the WBC heavyweight world title next. Whether that be Wilder, whether that be Tyson Fury, whether that be Luis Ortiz, who knows what the situation may be. Listen, it, if Wilder loses that belt, there's a very good chance he's going to get a rematch. And listen, as champion, doing a voluntary against Ortiz or, or Tyson Fury, whichever it may be, a rematch, listen, we can't really hold that against him. Uh, you know, he does have the entitlement of trying to get his title back, as all champions should. But with Dillian White, when he gets his world title shot against um, Deontay Wilder, as an example, there will be no rematch, no need for one. It can go to purse bid, Eddie Hearn can win the purse bid, hopefully he does, and forces the fight in the UK. Make Wilder actually travel for the first time in his uh, world title reign. That would be great. So this is, the res this is the resolution that me, you, Dillian, Eddie Hearn, and all boxing fans have really wanted. Whether you believe Dillian beats Wilder, whether you don't believe it, whatever it may be, it's all about justice. It's all about what is right. Been six, over 600 days now as the WBC number one is just not good enough. Never in the history of boxing has this happened. So for whatever reason, they didn't really want to give Dillian White the world title shot, but they're quite happy taking sanction fees as he's the silver champion, etc., etc. He deserved a world title shot. He turned down a Joshua fight because he wanted to go fight for the WBC. He thought that was imminent when they were going to call for him versus Dominic Brazil for the mandatory. But... Things didn't quite work out that way. And ultimately, he turned down a Joshua fight, lost out in the mandatory, so he was left in limbo. But now there seems to be a resolution. And li listen, Eddie Hearn isn't going to say it, but I'll say it to you guys, and I know that Eddie, that uh, Dillian White will say it too, is that big up to all you guys who've been out there dropping your comments in the videos, uh, going over to Mauricio Suleiman and the WBC and expressing your view, saying that this isn't right. It's not about whether or not you like Dillian or whether you don't. It, it's about what is right. And Dillian White does deserve a world title shot. His resume as of late is absolutely stellar. Far better than anybody else that Wilder is taking on. So he deserves that world title shot. And many people have been expressing that. So big up to all you guys. Not necessarily the ones who's been going at Mauricio Suleiman, insulting him and insulting his family and everything. You know, that's a little bit OTT. But... Listen, it is what it is. I know that uh, Dillian is very appreciative of you guys for doing that. 
Um, but anyway, so this is the resolution that Dillian White will become mandatory should he defeat Oscar Rivas. And he will get his world title shot next. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.